All right, guys, here's the revised version of the homemade brass tumbler that I posted uh, about two days ago. I had a one quarter horse, 850 RPM air conditioner compressor motor. And it was uh, giving me a lot of vibration, but not in the direction I wanted it. It was, I had to mount it to the base, to the bottom part. So most of the vibration was going down toward the base. I uh, apologize for the lighting. I'm in the garage here. And just trying to show you the basic changes that I made to it as I went with a one third horse motor. And I put some all thread. I had to, uh, it had a odd shaft on it. I had to uh, build this tab here, drive it down into the split shaft. And then I just tacked it. Cut me a piece of all thread, tapped and uh, threaded the uh, piece of tab there that I put on then bolted it, secured it with nuts. Then I had this coupler and nut for my weight. Once I ran it for a little while, I figured out I needed a little bit more weight, so I just ran a bolt through the end, and that gave me plenty of movement there. Again, this is a build that uh, I saw Robert C. had posted. Pretty much same design. I copied his design. And uh, let me tell you, it works. This motor had a uh, some type of a trigger switch on it. Actually came off a soda pump pumped soda and water and soft for a soft drink machine. So I took the switch and I just jumped it into a switch box. I'll turn it on and let you see what kind of action. I'm tumbling some uh, rounds for a buddy of mine. And this is what they're looking like going in. I do tumble live rounds. There's not much that's going to trigger these off in here. I've done thousands of them in commercial tumblers. But I've had to borrow those tumblers. and uh, Nothing's going to strike these primers hard enough to make them ignite. It's a debated topic. I've read thousands of... Uh, pros and cons about tumbling live ammo. I'll turn it on, let you see the action that I get there. I'm still debating on, uh, I don't have this permanently mounted. I've just got to secure to a rubber mat with a C-clamp. I'm going to mount it on a table, and when I do mount it, I'm going to probably put a thread, threaded rod through here and let me adjust the uh, torque on the front. I'm going to push down the front, you can see how much more action I get here. Let off dampens the vibration quite a bit, but the rounds are still turning. If you can see this one here, they're turning in there. That's crushed walnut, it's that lizard bedding. Got it at the uh, pet store. This motor cost me, I think, about four dollars. I bought it in a lot of uh, at an auction. Got a pallet, had about 
300 dollars worth the property on it and I paid 1250 for the pallet so I probably don't have four dollars in that motor the switch was free pulled it out of a dumpster I've got about uh, ten dollars maybe twelve dollars at the most invented uh, invested in this tumbler here I don't post much on YouTube I build a lot of stuff I don't post a whole lot of stuff This is more of a tribute to uh, Robert C. Uh, I told him I'd post something once I copied his design and built it. Y'all have a good one. I'll show y'all the clean brass once I finish it up.